Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another Optobotomous Retro Review. Now, again, this is a figure that I had as a child, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, when I went searching to see if I actually still had it, all I could find was this piece. Um, unfortunately, this is the only bit left that I have from this figure set from when I was a kid. So, uh, it, it's a little bit better. I mean, this is really kind of, I don't know if it's dirty in there or if the, it's just faded and blah looking but uh who knows how that is uh but the figure itself is the arrow strike as you can see the arrow strike batman with the ultrasonic armor and firing rocket now i don't know what it was about this figure when i was a kid but i loved the gold and one problem that i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it right there yeah well actually you can see it a little bit uh but i need to turn the flash off there we go um if you look right there it looks like he's got some paint wear on his chest, and that's really bumming me out. I'm I'm really kind of hoping that um, that's just on the inside of the plastic, because if that's on there, I'm going to be pretty bummed out. But you flip it around here on the back, and you got other toys that are in the same line. This is from the Batman Returns line from Kenner, uh, all the way back in uh, like 1992, according to that right there. So uh, let's rip this guy open. Ah. All the fresh air filling the insides. In here we go. And ah, oh, you know what? I'm really, I am kind of bummed. All right. Well, first, here comes his uh his weapon. Now um, these are always fun. You stick it in there. Come on, get your get in there. And of course, you push the button and it goes flying. Um, and here is the new one. Here's the original one, and you can see that there is uh, some yellowing here in the actual clear bit. Eh, it's held up pretty well over the years. I'm I'm fairly surprised. Uh, let's see what the thing says there, and I can't read what it says, but it's not too terribly bad. But here's I, I just took it off, and it's not as bad. Oh, and actually, it it rubs off. I think. Hopefully, come on, get off. Oh, that that does that looks better i'm i'm pleased with that but i don't know what it is about this figure I, I don't know what it i don't know if it's the gold coloring or what but i love i love the fact that they use cloth capes on these two and then you just take this and you plug it over his head <laughs> poor thing let's cover up his head and here you have him with his little jet pack and then the little uh gun thing just plugs onto his arm and here you have him just all ready to go. Michael Keaton, Batman, all the way. Reboot this, suckers. <laughs> uh, just really cool looking. I really like the way this guy looks. Like I said, I don't know. Oh, and his cape came off. I I really cannot tell you what it is about. And this is actually kind of loose on there. It's not too bad. Uh, but I really, I really don't know what it is about this, the way this guy looks. And... The camera's a little bit too high, so here we're gonna we're gonna turn this around. We're gonna try and set it here, and uh, hopefully you guys. Yeah, that's not too bad. If the camera will just stay there, that just looks really cool. Now, like I said, I don't know what it is about the color, but I just think it's awesome looking. I really love it. And then uh, when you put him side by side with his nemesis the one and the only Joker. I mean, you can see that this is just a really cool, although it's not really all that centered, really cool figure set. Just fantastic. And th this is one thing that I've loved about these capes, that you can drape them over, and it kind of covers them up. It's just so freaking badass looking. I love the way that looks. It's really cool, really fun, really exciting looking. And it really says Batman to me. I love the logo, love the gold. Um, Articulation-wise, his head rotates from left to right, rotates all the way around. Arms rotate at the shoulder all the way around, and uh, back and forth at the upper part of the thigh. But even, you know, I mean, they, they even still got really nice detail there Oops, in the feet. Although now you can't see anything. Uh, really nice detail there in the feet uh, and the boots. But it's just an overall fantastic-looking Batman figure, which, if you would stand would be even better if I could hold my camera phone up because I am using my iPhone so that's that's one thing that kind of sucks um just really awesome looking I, I really love the way the guy looks uh, 
And it's an old figure. Really nice detail for such an old, old figure. Ah. The joys of trying to do video reviews on a phone. I don't I, I really don't know how PR does it. But uh but that's about it, guys. Really cool looking figure. If you actually do like these, I really recommend picking this one up just because I really think that the color on here is just really fantastic. Out of this world. So until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later.